60 yes, seconds. Are you okay? I don't know. I, I've got everything I need here, I think. Yeah. Before the show today. Okay. How are you doing on uh, drinks? Hello, welcome How's to the you show. Uh, Would you mind telling uh, me how many... Got... Oh, poor you. You don't have any friends today. Oh, well. Let's... Hey, you know what? I also need to know if you had plans for a 21... Cool. 30 seconds. You know what my home life is like. Uh-huh. I know all too uh -huh. well. Okay, your buzzer is letter B. That's B as in... Uh, bet you wish you were playing the game right now. No, people are going to talk. Oh, like no one knows. Everybody knows, but we're going to keep up this facade for ourselves. 20 seconds. Well, you know how. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right. Uh, when you when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz in, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash. All right? 10 seconds. Good luck. Okay, Nine. lose the desktop. Eight, eight. Seven and go to black. Q graphics four, and standby. Three. Rush hour has just begun. This movie has not yet been rated. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, 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 all right, how you doing? Fun solo today. Okay, let's see if you can fill up that passenger seat with some cash. Let's rock. All right, go ahead and pick one. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. And we call this one Trouser Trout. Get this right, get $2,000. Okay, take a good look at this picture and tell me which of the following statements about this man is most likely true. He's having grouper sacks. He can't carry a tuna. He's wearing his that big fish in his ear is most likely his hearing aid. It's the most advanced fishy hearing aid ever to come down the pike. And it only cost him a fin. All right, I'll stop. Get off my bass. It don't be such a crab. Okay, pick a category. The category is cooking with Christo. Two G's for a right answer. Check this out. You're having performance artist Christo over for dinner and you wind up with leftovers based on one of his most famous works. How is he likely to suggest preserving them? Freeze them while singing about Gibbons. Smear them all over your body. Wrap them. Christo is famous for wrapping bridges, buildings, and even islands in plastic. Hey, leftovers, fine. Just uh, keep them away from the cat. About it, we need a cat. You and me, baby, let's be. This one's gonna be family programming and big guns. Two thousand bucks riding on this one. Hey, remember that Brady episode where Bobby thinks Jesse James is really cool until he has a dream where Jesse shoots his whole family? <sighs> family programming. Anyway. Suppose the Brady Bunch dream sequence with Jesse James were real. To be historically accurate, how might one of the Bradys end James's outlaw ways? In that episode, Bobby played a member of James's gang in a dream, and in life, Jesse was eventually shot by one of his men for the reward money. Like they say, when it's time to change, it's time to change. Come on, we need a category. This category is... Hey, Mr. Writer Man, lighten up. 3,000 bananas for a right answer here. Okay, peel your eyes, free your mind, cause here we go. If hell and Dante's Inferno were converted into Dante's Outlet Mall, what might you expect to find on sale down on level 1? Gerber, uh, in Dante's Inferno, unbaptized souls stay in the first level, called Limbo. <laughs> Along with those that can't get under the stick. Oops, he touched the floor. Take your pick, what do you say? Number five! 
the category strippers at the Philharmonic. This might be a hard one. Three grand. Okay, pay attention here. A violin has four strings. Which string would the violin have on it if it were only wearing its G string? The lowest, the second lowest, the second highest, or the highest? The highest? That's the E string, buddy. Too bad you didn't pick this. The G string is the string on the violin that's lowest in pitch. Sounds like the violin is stepping over the line. I mean, it's bad enough we can see its F hole. Okay, pick a category. Oh, this is really big. This thing is huge. Sex. Category, let's do it. No more hoes. Okay, the right answer nets you 1,000 bucks. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. Millionaire J.R. Ewing's gardener is getting married, but before the fateful day, he wants to have one last crack at spreading his seeds. Which of the following actions would not qualify? Offering his celery to J.R., giving Pamela his peanuts, delivering his rice to Sue Ellen, or sending Bobby his corn. Nope, he must have been trying to catch up for all of her weddings that he missed. Here's what you should have picked. Celery is a vegetable and we eat the stock. Why is Gardner is giving JR anything after getting those bath towels as a Christmas bonus is beyond me. How about it? We need a category. An outstanding selection, because under that category is one major league point racking question, the dis or dat. And the category for this dis or dat question is games people play and cleaning up afterwards. Now I'm going to read off seven. Oh, okay, you already know what you're doing. Well, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's do it. Risk! Is it a board game or a laundry detergent? Life! Tide! Sorry! All! Cheer! Last one! Club! That's all seven! What can I say? I got nothing to criticize here. Seven out of seven. Yeah, that blows a little sunshine into your total. Alright, let's blow on to the next question. Alright, go ahead and... Here's why we hate number eight. And this category is... Murder She Dumped. And this one's worth $2,000. Alright, here we go. If Jessica Fletcher for Murder She Wrote gave up her mystery writing and pursued a career as a Fletcher, what might the show be... Arrows she made. A Fletcher is a maker of arrows. Yeah, that's all we need. She's scary enough without being armed. Come on, we need it. It's party time. Here comes number nine. Okay, coming up, this category is history lesson in a white wine sauce. Okay, three grand coming at ya. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Martha Stewart and Julia Child get together and reenact the Battle of the Five Forks. Uh, what war are they remembering? World War II, the Korean War, the Franco-Prussian War, or the American Civil War? Should have picked this. The Battle of the Five Forks was one of the last major battles of the Civil War. But it's all good and patriotic until Martha loses nine. Okay, pick a category. The category is... Wait! I have a vision. 2,000 bucks for right answer. Okay, help me out here. I'm trying to think of this guy's name. Buzz in and type in your answer when you think you know the answer. 
He was considered by some to be a prophet. And uh, he was a 16th century Frenchman. He made a bunch of predictions about the future. That <laughs> Go for it. Type in your... We're talking about Nostradamus, the legendary seer of Ceylon. It's funny, he actually predicted that you would get this one wrong. Halfway there, ten more questions coming at ya in round two. Now remember, round two means double the value of the questions, which means more cash won or more cash lost. Let's go. Take your pick. Alright, next up, let's trash the joint. We got four grand on the table. Get your fingers ready, here's one coming at ya. On whom of the following could you call to fix your mortise and tenon joint? Sam from the Brady Bunch, Tim Taylor from Home Improvement, Heathcliff Huxtable from The Cosby Show, or Johnny Fever from WKRP in Cincinnati? No, Dr. Huxtable couldn't help you fix your mortise, but he could help you pick out a really nice sweater. Now the correct answer is... Ah! Tim's a handyman. Ho ha ha. So he probably knows all about mortis and tenon joints. Read more about them in your Time Life Home Repair and Improvement book series. You'll find the books under all that Franklin Mint stuff in the attic. Alright, go ahead. Twelve. Category. It's absolutely tantalizing. This one's worth six grand. Okay, take a shot at this. If the Galloping Gourmet threw a dinner party and used the Greek myth about Tantalus as a theme, what would be an appropriate dessert? Virgin flan, blood pudding, my son pie, or apple pie? Too bad you didn't choose this. <laughs> Tantalus cut up his son, baked him in a pie, and served him for dinner. Now that's steak and kidney pie. Come on, we need a category. I love 13, number 13, uh -huh. And this question's category is, when Michael Jackson and Lionel Richie collaborate. 4,000 bucks behind this one. Okay, buzz in and type in your answer when you know the answer. Now, fill in the blank with the best completion to this analogy. USA for Africa is to We Are the World as Band-Aid is to blank. Okay. Goodbye. Now, the correct answer is... Band-Aid started it all with Do They Know It's Christmas. Little known fact, at the very same time the song was recorded, Ethiopians were recording a song called Do They Know We're Muslim? How about... We wish you a number 14 and a happy Hanukkah. This one's gonna be... I've got a really big date. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Who might have placed the following personal ad? Large green female in search of maid, French gal, now living in New York City, looking for love. Let me light the way, enjoy the Statue of Liberty. She's large, she's green, and she was given to the U.S. by the French. <laughs> Unfortunately, the last guy she kissed had to have his jaw surgically reattached. Take your pick, what do you say? The category is Great Minds and Small Minds. This one's worth $4,001 bills. Hang on tight, cause here we go. If you want to remember the proper chronological order of the lives of Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates, what childish mnemonic could you use? Penis, stand aside, sores are pus filled, sperm production arrested, or anus stays puckered. And over here we have the right answer. Sperm production arrested. Socrates taught Plato, who taught Aristotle. Then they were all dead and their sperm production was presumably arrested. Okay, pick a category. Question 16, 
category. Let's do it. I got your special order right here. And this one's worth $4,000. All right, fingers limber, cuz here comes the question. You're in a New York deli when a guy next to you orders a BLT and asks a waiter to hold the lettuce. What is he asking him to hold? A British mustard, Flemish lace, his genitalia, or the Latvian language? Let me show you what someone smart would have picked. Lettish is the Latvian language. I hear it's terrific in a BLT, but very difficult to get your mouth around. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Uh-oh, press what's with Mime Door. It's time for... Tingerlick Test Run. Alright, this gibberish category is... Wipe that smile off your face. Opening value for this gibberish, 10 grand. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, and uh, I'm going to be taking away a little bit of cash every second and a half. Okay, tell me, with what popular phrase does this rhyme? A sadist pro non-mirth. And uh, don't be fooled by the punctuation. First clue, it's said about a performance. Honey, you are amazing. Come on, make me proud. I took all 15 of my nieces and nephews to the circus not too long ago. Oh, let's talk about masochism. Come on, we need a ca And we call this one the PTL Club in Wonderland. Get this right, get $2,000. Ready? Let's pretend there's a new chapter to Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, featuring a character based on televangelist Pat Robertson. Suppose this new character is called the Cheshire Pat. Judging by the characters in the Alice books, what behavior might this character exhibit? Becoming two-dimensional like a playing card, fading from... The Cheshire Cat was the crazy animal that would slowly disappear. <laughs> kind of like Pat in his political career. Take your pick. What? The category. Hi vey, let's go to the movies. Looks like a toughie, six grand. Okay, you know that if you're keeping kosher, you have certain restrictions on what you eat, right? Well, if you're keeping kosher and have similar restrictions on your cinematic intake, which double feature should you not see? Fried green tomatoes in the breakfast club, hamburger hill and milk money, my dinner with Andre and the candy man, or Friday the 13th and a fish called Wanda. In case you're interested, here's the right answer. If you keep kosher, you don't eat milk and meat at the same table. You may also decide to avoid seeing anything with Kevin Bacon in it. How about it? We need a category. The Fresh Saver. 20. This category is a man with big monuments. We are talking four big ones. Imagine this listing in TV Guide. On what's happening now, Raj becomes a Hindu and converts his apartment into the Raj Mahal if he uses the Raj Mahal in the same way the Taj, the Taj Mahal was built as a mausoleum for Shah Jahan's most beloved consort. Wait till you see the bathroom he had built for her. Alright, go ahead and pick... Oh, you already know the way this works. All right, make sure your match fits this clue. You think your boss sucks? Ah, I'm not going to touch that one. Here we go.
like it was a massacre! Who ruled on that one? Well, let's check out your final score! That's the game! Oh boy, you know more worthless trivia than humanly possible. You decide whether you want to be proud or ashamed of that. Think about it while I tell you... You don't know Jack! Very good show, everybody. Um, let's roll commercials and Cookie, what's going on here? Oh my God! They're on the high scoreboard. Can you believe it? How how exciting! Are you kidding me? I couldn't care less if you get on the high scoreboard. Who am I, Richard Simmons? I don't care about self-improvement. Why don't you take a cold shower and then tell me if you want to play again?